One of the most important questions in Berserk revolves around the old god hand and how they eventually faded into irrelevancy and were only shown during the Skull Knight's Eclipse. A theory that I have regarding the old god hand is that during the time these individuals were active, the world of Berserk was a very different place. A diverse mix of astral and physical beings as indicated by the prevalence of magic. As time pressed on with the Holy See religion becoming more and more popular and magic fading away into the world of heresy and witchcraft, things eventually got to a point that there was a need for astral beings to be replaced by individuals who embody the desires of human beings, thus leading to the advent of the present god hand. Now who killed them? It couldn't have been the Skull Knight, that is for sure because if he did, he would be more of a threat. At present, he is just a wraith who doesn't have much of a pull when it comes to fighting such powerful beings. Another theory would be that Void replaced them, because by and large, he is the person who is responsible for bringing into existence the Holy See religion in anticipation of the Blessed King of Longing Griffith. Perhaps that is the reason why the old god hand and the astral world of Geyseric's time disappeared. The craziest theory that I have regarding this is that there are actually two god hands. Because you know, we got two hands. While one god hand is in control of the astral world, the other is in control of the physical world. So it is a good division of labor by the senior human resource manager Void. A proof that I have for this particular theory is that the setting of Geyseric's eclipse came at a time when Geyseric had essentially merged the two worlds together, kinda like Griffith is doing right now. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching.